Okay. All right, so teach me about a gel, uh, jelly plate. Okay, what does that mean? so the jelly plate is when you're working with a jelly plate and stencils, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it. So I can, I like to, so when you're doing jelly plates and you're doing lots of layers, you want to build the smallest details first. Okay. Um, uh, so let's see, what do we want to start? What do you want to start with? Mm. You want to start with dots? Sure. Okay. So a couple of different things that you can do. You can lay it down. You want to start. Can you see that? Yep. You're good. Okay. So a little dabble do ya. You don't need a lot on the jelly plate. Yabba dabba do. Yabba dabba. Yabba dabba do ya. <laughs> the Flintstones. <laughs> a little dab will do you. A little dab, but you never heard a little little dab. A, a, a little, a little dab will do you. I a mean, little like little dab will do you. A little bit of pain goes a long way, but it reminded me of yabba dabba do. Anyways, continue. Anyway. I'm okay. sorry. I'm an idiot. So Go. it's fine. So um, <laughs> remember that you're not necessarily constrained to the square shape of the stencil. You don't have to like fill out the entire stencil. You can just use a couple of the dots in the middle. And go ahead and brayer that on. So a brayer is just a roller. A brayer is just a roller. But it's not like a spongy roller. It's like no, a, a it's, rubber. It's like, rubber. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. So. So can I can I just like stamp with you? Like yeah. while, while you're doing yep. stuff? Like if I wanted to like go back into this mm -hmm. and, and take the um, base brayer. Keeping. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Actually, um, I can get some deli paper too. And we're just gonna like co-create co this co -create one. This, right? one. this can be great. Right. So, I did go over, and then now there's this. So can I just like? You can either leave it there. If you really don't like it, you can do that. You can also. So now there's paint on the back of my stencil, so I can do this. Oh hey, so when we're doing a jelly plate, from my understanding, it's like you're making a paper. And what goes on first is the top of your paper, like what you see first on right. the paper. Yeah. And then you just kind of layer it to make things. So yep. like at the end of this, we're going to put a paper on it and press it and pull it off. So whatever's on, whatever goes down first is going to be the most forefront of your. Right. Which is why you kind of want to start with the smaller details and then build up and, layers. And not. And not do that. A big old chunk of black. <laughs> <laughs> what if I you want black paper? If you want that, it's totally fine. <laughs> It's cool. Don't mind me. I do what I want. But you can also. I just wanted to like make it not like. You can also like, take a little bit of paper towel. And like that and out. Pick some of that out. Well, I could even go back over it. You can do that. For sure. Right. I yep. think that looks better than what I did the first time. I do. Just. It's literally all about just like playing with it. Playing with it. And. The jelly That's plates, cool, actually. That actually looks really awesome. And the jelly You're plates welcome. are really cool because <laughs> no matter what happens, you don't... It's You can do a jelly plate print as a final print. Like, the jelly plate on a piece of beautiful watercolor plate paper, which I get the best pulls for me. A on pull, watercolor paper? A pull is, like, the final thing that you take off. So okay. when you talk about a pull, it's like, oh, that was a really good pull. It's when you lay the paper down and you lift it off. You got a really good, you a, like, oh, print. You got a good, you got a good print. You got a really good pull. So what do we use these for? Just texture in your art journals? I use like... them as texture in my art journals for collage. I mean, you can use them for absolutely, oh, don't waste that. Get that baby on there. Oh, sorry. It's fine. This is my well, favorite. and then I realized that I just made this all thick and black and well, like that's fine, chunky. But so this is just going to be a little bit darker of a print, and that's cool because we can have some lightness up up here. Always thinking about co like composition, composition and balance. Yep. But um, I really like this side. I like that side too. Which well, we can it kind so of make the me... thing. So we can actually do two different prints off of this because this is a big jelly plate. 
Right. This is a 12 by 12. Okay. So we can do like a long print off of one side and one side we can do something different or we can just like see what's happening. Well, I I was about to just like put it over that and kind of layer it in and like let the two work together, but I didn't know if that was a good idea or not, but I'm just here. (laughs) I just, that's what I did last time. So, okay. So let's just take a second and like let this part dry okay. and then we can go over with a different color. Okay, so I need to put this down so I stop but I'm, I get too excited. <laughs> I get overzealous and I just like keep going. <laughs> but no, that's me. Like I I call it over decoratoritis. Oh, that's fancy. Which is kind of like I think I used to do it with cakes a lot, but like definitely oh. with a page. Like there's an editing point when it comes to my pages that I have a hard time with. But, yeah, over well, decorator it is. Even like, with my watercolor stuff, I, like, I have to let this dry and we'll come back. And I have to, like, stop and walk away mm-hmm. and just be okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> because I get too, like, overzealous. I thought it's But this side things. is almost dry. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we want to, again, I'm overzealous. But, yeah, if we, like. We can, we can leave this side to dry and, and do some fun stuff on that side. Okay. So what do we do? Okay. So you can keep going with different textures. This, I feel like, would be pretty cool over the top. On top of it? I kind of want to see some green. How do you decide what colors and what textures to do? Whenever the spirit moves me. Just do it? <laughs> Just do it? Like, I don't know. Or... If you're, you know, this jelly plate can be just like, I'm just going to get messy tonight. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to throw on some music, I'm going to get messy, and I'm just going to go with what my gut is telling me. Mm -hmm. Or, if you have a certain piece in mind that you're going for, you obviously want to talk about colors that are conveying the emotions that you're going for. So, but tonight it was just a feeling? Tonight it it was just a feeling. Just a feeling, okay. Yeah. Um, It was just a... Uh, I don't know. I, I think like, green is a symbol of knowledge, and I'm learning stuff. That was so. too much. Too much paint. Your jelly plate does not need that much paint. I get a little bit crazy when it comes to um, paint. I just want to squeeze the paint out. I just want to, <laughs> yeah. I get excited, like you do. I like I, the way the black kind of subtly blended in with that. Yeah. Like, it just kind of made it a richer, darker green. A richer, darker green. I really try not to use the paint directly out of the tube. There's just something about mixing colors. mixing a little bit of color that's, like... They say that to do that, like, in the watercolor community, too. Like, if you mix your colors, it feels more authentic than mm-hmm. just using straight out of the tube. Like, this right here is 100% authentic. This mm-hmm. color has never been made. Yeah. It's 100% unique to that. that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And if you use it straight from the, the tube... tube. Anybody can use it. Find it anywhere. Yep. Yep. So, is it going to be too green? Well, no, because it's going to be hidden under the black. It's going to be, yeah. I have to remember that, like, it's, the the brick is first, right? Brick is first. Okay. I kind of want to keep it constrained to mostly the stencil, I think. I don't know. And even that. I went a little too far on the paint there, but that's okay because we can also do this afterwards. It's good. I'm just going to go a little bit over and let it be what it is. Just to add some color behind the brick. Before you do that, I'm just going to... And it softens the colors? It just takes a little bit of that, like, thickness away. Boom! Boom! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just threw it down. It's fine. I like to you like when I'm lifting it up, I sort of use it against itself to just get that look at that. It's like that edgy. That oh you yeah, know, there's you a, know. Yeah, there's that's a, like, gonna a little, be sexy. Yeah, a little dot inside. Is Jesus the okay? Hexagon. If I say sexy. Well, Jesus is always okay. Um, <laughs> he is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to add some green, like just kind of, I don't know. Like, 
So you have to let your layers dry on this because otherwise it smashes all together? Yeah. Okay. So acrylic paint, when it dries, it makes this like bond. Like it's sort of like, okay, so you know when... Like it when stacks layers, kind of? It stacks layers. So you know when you got glue on your hand when you were a kid? Mm-hmm. And you, like, peeled it off mm -hmm. after it dried. And it was just, like, satisfying. Yeah. That's what we're eventually going to do. But the acrylic also likes to adhere to itself. But if you do it, if you do the layers too quickly, it'll just make mud. Oh. That makes sense. Because it just, you have to give it time to dry. You have to give it time to dry. Okay. But the layers will form a lovely bond. Yeah. And then at the end, we do a really thin coat of, you know, a color, sometimes white, sometimes black, whatever really you want. And then that forms a bond with what's on the jelly plate. And it just peels off. And it forms a bond with the paper and it makes a pretty little sandwich. Oh, sandwich. And then, it, I like and then it, and then it's like peeling the glue off of your finger. Then you're like peeling the whole thing off. Oh, that's cool. And it's, when it, when it's good, it's good. Well, then I'm glad that we're kind of working in halves because then we can, like, move on. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of feeling like something up over here. We haven't touched this side a whole lot, so I don't really know what we're doing, but we're going to move with it. I ca I'm kind of feeling a little bit more like a, of like a fuchsia red situation. I want to add a little bit more of that fuchsia. With this one? Yeah. We're going bold. I yeah. want them to, like, see how... Go big or go, go home. Big. Go big or, is that a, is that, Isn't that a song? I don't know if it's By, a song. Um, no, there's a go big or go home. It's a, I don't know. Uh, oh. It's, it's going to drive me nuts not thinking about or not knowing who I that's thought it was either. just something that some people said. No, it, didn't realize well, it was it, there's song. a song about it too. I don't know. It's on my playlist. <laughs> Guys. Okay. So this is literally, so I like to take my roller in between like colors and just roll it off of, like, on whatever. But, like... Whoa! What's up cool stuff happening when you're not expecting it? Well, that's... <laughs> that would be really cool to use. Oh, when we talk about the wealth category that we did for our vision boarding, that would be a really cool texture mm -hmm. to use with that. So fun. And then you become a hoarder. <laughs> and you start hoarding things that you never, ever, ever thought that you would. So... And you have a room full of paper and all sorts of fun things. Um... So, I guess, how do you decide what stencils you like to buy? Because we have our few that we've made, which this makes me want to expand that more and keep doing more. Because, like, once you get working, you're like, oh, man, I need more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can see why it becomes addictive. So, for me, it's just all about what's your style? What's your voice? And I think what we've tried to, we're trying to create with our stencil line is something that's organic and fun and also something that you can use in lots of different ways. Which yeah. obviously we're showing you is like, oh, so you can use it on your jelly plate and you can trace it and you can use it to lay down modeling paste. Like, what else can I use this for? Yeah. I want to smash this in here. So we'll probably just do a couple more layers, show them how to peel this off and then... Yeah. And then... Let them... Know. Go to town. Let them go to town. And go ahead. And build those skills. I like these mixed colors here. Ooh, I dig this. I'm just trying to like lightly dabble this in here. Mm -hmm. All about the light dabble when you're doing stencils and try to do like an up and down motion. So that way it doesn't and, smudge? Yep. Wait, that way it doesn't bleed underneath. Uh, jelly plate's really forgiving because it already has that sticky texture, mm -hmm. so it creates a nice bond. So you don't get a lot of bleed. When Which it is comes probably to why that. it wouldn't have worked very well with the watercolor. Yeah, I still kind of want to try it, but um, I think with a little bit of spray adhesive, it would do uh, really well. It would do really well. Maybe we need to make a trip to the craft store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's peel this off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. Really cool. It kind of makes me want to add some, yep, bit. exactly. Yeah, like, yep, some color on this side.
Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. Do a big smudge <laughs> down the center, and then I'm going to come in and maybe pull some of this purple more. So now I've added. All right, I got to get my, I got to get a bigger sheet of paper so we can, I want to like try to get the whole thing. Get the whole thing? I'm going to see, we're going to try to get this whole thing. We need all of the positive energy for that. <laughs> I do think I'm going to incorporate some green brick though, just because we have this paint right here. Maybe not. We'll do it in a roller. Which I used the red roller with some green in it. So we're just going to let those colors just do what they want. Yeah. Be Which red, red and, green, and though. green, though, are complementary colors. So they're going to smudge together to make, like, brown. So I don't want to overwork them because then we lose the blend of them. Like the... Complementary colors. That's kind of cool, though. That's cool. Works. We're letting, looking a little Christmassy. I think we need to add some other else. color. Another color tone. I think we need this here. Where's my palette knife? I want to mix that. You care which one? No. Well, not not the cake one if I don't have to. Use, <laughs> use my cake stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> okay, guys, just to let you know, I'm never going to use that on cakes again. <laughs> that was retired from the uh, cake industry when I decided to use it on my jelly plate. <laughs> I had multiples. I had lots of those. So This is kind of right here, and it's going to just be there. Uh, it's been sitting there, and it's been like, hey, some press me in there. Put some paint on me. <laughs> I think the orange we should do very subtly in, like, well, it's going to be on the back end of it, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to peek through. It'll peek some through right here, yep. especially. So I think we should maybe do hexagon in the orange right here. Isn't that gorgeous? Can I do it? Yeah. Yum. Easy. Go easy. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying to be gentle now. Thin. I was just really going to well, go to town. Well, no, not this. Like, it's just thinner. There you go. We're just going to have It's all to, in the wrist. It's just going to have... <laughs> what? It's just going to need a little extra dry time. It's cool. Which, I don't know no, if I that's good. Stop. Shh. <laughs> I don't know. I felt the... Stop. Something told me to... Something told me stop. I'm scared I'm going to smudge it. Don't be... <gasps> Gorgeous. <laughs> I really like just throwing it down and letting it land. <laughs> Like, it's just there. We're going to let it be. Mm hmm Okay, let's add maybe some green. I'm thinking composition. I see green. Yeah. But not here. Okay. And then we'll be done. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to add green in anything Let me specific? I want, before we do, I want a little bit of that orange. Here? Here. Roll it out first. Like, roll it, get, get it going. So you don't get big chunks of paint? So you don't get big chunks of paint. Okay. Yeah. You want to get like a thin layer on your brayer and then go at it. I'm learning so much from this. We should have everybody come to Texas and have a big party. Everybody wants to come to Texas. <laughs> Fun. That's good. I dig. We do another? I dig. No. Just, oh, you're just pressing it in? I don't know. Seeing what happens? Yeah. Okay. So let's get something with the, the green up in here and we'll be good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Because it's going to really pop through because there's not much of anything else there. I feel I want more of the dots. dots. I feel like just like some little green dots up in this business. Because we're going to do, remember, we're going to do a real thin layer of like something else over it that's going to pull it up. And it's okay, okay. if you've got some like white peeking through because mm -hmm. this is real pretty. Yeah. So. So we're just going to do some yeah. subtle dots. I just want some like, yeah, just up in the corner. Cool. You want to do it? Oh, Go ahead. Yeah. Let me have that. Where am I at? I like this kind of painting because you get messy. So messy. You don't get messy with watercolor. No. Unless well, you spill your water on yourself. Knowing myself, I would probably get, I get messy doing I, I everything. I spilled my water. 
Um, my girls are really funny because, you know, when they get messy, I'm like, all right, it's time to wash your hands. And I'm like kind of a little bit of a freak and I like it when my hands get messy. So when I yeah, like, stay up late, cool. when I stay up late, I like to, and I get paint on my hands, like I'll wash them. But like, if there's a little speck of red on my yeah, hand, I, like, not like... I, I leave it cause it's a reminder that I did something, cool. did something. And the next morning they're like, mommy. Your hands are dirty. You have to wash your hands. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. But it's good. It's good stuff. I want to try something. Like, why not use your fingers? Why not? There's really no reason not to. Um, my son, he's three. When he plays with Play-Doh, he sits on it. <laughs> Instead of rolling it with a roller, he sits on it to smash it. <laughs> That's awesome. He sits on it to smash it. <laughs> That's why we call him Smash. Smash. I just want to get some of the... Okay, so this is the worst part, is that we have to... You have to let it dry. So you just lay that on there. Ooh, that's fun. And because it's dry, it doesn't smear. It doesn't smear. And it doesn't... Yeah. How do you know how much paint to use? Um, you just want well, it's just, You just want an even coat, and you're just basically trying to create a thin layer between what you've got down there and the paper. Okay. To make it stick. And if you if you do go over it too much, some little things will lift will up. Will lift? Okay. The big brayer is better, but it's being cranky right now gotcha. because I need to wash it. <laughs> mm -hmm. but. but if you do too much, it's not going to create the adhesion that you want. Oh, see. Okay. So we're just going to... Go for it. All good? Yep. Okay, can I do it? Yeah. Of course you okay. can. Okay. I'm going to just drop this here. Yep. Like that. And you press it? Yep. I've seen you do this enough that I kind of have an idea, but I've never done it myself. I want one of these. We should put them on our website, huh? I think we should. Should we? You really want to... I like to really get down on the edge. Okay. And create... Good seal. Okay. Good seal. Corner to corner? Yep, corner to corner. Can you see it? If it's happening or not? A little bit. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, there you go. You gotta put some muscle behind it. Definitely sometimes going in with your brayer. Don't worry, it's the back side of the paper. That's okay. And once you get it going, it wants to keep coming with you. So if it's not working on that corner, maybe we try a different corner. This corner. It's like peeling like a sunburn. <laughs> like in chunks. Yeah, in chunks. But it might still be cool. Go ahead. You, you do it. You ready? Yep. Okay, go slow. I can't see it, so it's going to be a surprise. Okay. It's going to be a surprise. Hold on. Is it? Come on. Okay, go ahead. I can see it in the camera. Yeah. It's not perfect, but there's some really cool stuff going on. So what makes, what helps get better pulls? What have you found that makes it so you get a good clean go? Practice. This kind of reminds me of, what's that movie? Saw. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little dark for us. <laughs> but that's okay. But I, think I mean, was... this is very cool. There's some really delicious layers going on up there. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, that's the other thing is like, yeah. Might not have really worked 
for us, but there are some there's still usable some pieces. Very very usable pieces. Like this, I like this part right here. here. Is really cool. And even right in here, like you could still do some really beautiful things. Yeah, with absolutely. It. That's that's cool. the joy of using jelly plates for your art journals. And you did mention that you can still come in and peel off like these yeah. bits so and let's pieces. See what right? happens? When we, yeah, I, I honestly think that it was because my larger, uh, when you're working with a larger brayer, with a larger it, gets brayer it. it gets more of a coverage when you're trying to get that really thin, even layer. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, this, it was that was angry up. with me. But I do really like, like the orange and stuff coming through on this hexagon. Yeah. You know, cause that's because There's we some... put the hexagon down first, right? Right. And then we put the orange and the green and all that stuff mm -hmm. on top of it. Then you can go back and see. Maybe we can see if we can get the rest of this to pull up. And are you going to use a deli paper? I'm going to use a deli paper this time. Okay. The deli paper, when you do get good pulls, is really fun because these are really fun to, uh, to layer in your art journals. It's not quite as heavy as the uh, watercolor poles, but you'll you'll find what works for you. And, you know. You wanna try? Yeah. Ooh, uh, is it coming up? It's coming up. A little bit. Why is it? Yeah, it's just, I think my, this particular jelly plate needs a little bit more seasoning as well. How it's you kind season of like, a jelly so plate? So you use it. <laughs> Oh, you got a love more, on it. You, you got a love on it. It needs a little more. It needs love. I know, and, like, um, when you use Dutch ovens, you're not supposed to wash them with soap. Yeah. Does that make a difference here? So, um, you can clean these with soap and water. I really, uh, it depends on the artist. So, like, jelly plate people, if they heard this, would be like, no, you want to clean it. But I really like. That's fine, though. Just, yeah. Like I ah! said, like, there's no such thing as. You know, a wrong way to do a something. A wrong way to art. do something. Yeah. It's, and sometimes I take out little pieces of cardstock and I try to get the edges and I try to, and then you don't even really need to like stop from here. We could keep on building and keep these like fun little edges going on. Which would create, create a really beautiful vignette. Right. If we were to do something else. Like that's yeah. really cool. So if at this point you've like, okay, not really pulling right now, but I want to try to add more, you can go ahead and add more. And, keep and then keep going and then add more and keep going and do a poll and keep going. It's just, it really is just like fun. And I think that that's, I don't care if it's not perfect. I think that there's some really interesting things going on oh, in yeah. the colors and textures. We could definitely do some fun things with these. And I can't remember the last time I had this much fun in my studio. High five. <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh, that was, that was, that was awful. <laughs> Where's our mom jeans? I don't even know. I took mine off because I didn't want to get paint on my good mom jeans. <laughs> Trying to high five. Oh my goodness. It was the it was the inner high five hand. Like that. Okay, that was like Boom. That was better. Alright. Anyways. Thanks again. <laughs> Happy New Year. Peace out. Nappy Who Year. Nappy Who Year? <laughs> I'm tired. Cut that out. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs>